Well, hi, Thomas. Good to see you. Hi, Neil. Yeah. Likewise. It's come around again, hasn't it? It's uh, conference time again. The years just fly by faster, don't they? I know, unbelievable. So we, we moved last year to the YMCA, and now it's going and it because um, we the, the year before it was filling up in Grimsley, wasn't it? It was getting dropped yeah, to the yeah. back of the room. Yeah, that yeah, was great. It's been it was been great the last couple of years. And uh, so this year, sixteenth year, it's uh, again at the YMCA in, in St Anne's. So I thought we'd tell you all about it because it's uh, people are starting to book and it's filling up. So. Um, that's what we'll do. We'll tell you about it. Um, 7th and 8th of September, uh, YMCA in St. Anne's on Sea, a uh, lovely little town with, uh, oh, yeah, seaside town. Uh, this year is the 20th year of the Da Vinci Code. So it's a bit of a special because you've probably heard that Thomas and I have brought this book out just recently. Boringer, Sonia, Priest Wizard of Renly Chateau, which, so, is, um, which is which is flying. Yeah, it's doing. Yeah, it's doing best yet, and, and that's obviously that's obviously relating to the Da Vinci Code, and uh, so we're going to start off talking about that, aren't we? Yep. Yeah, we'll uh, we've come up with a novel theory. Well, we think we are. We can't think of anyone else who's had the same theory as us, identically anyway. And so we'll be fleshing that out a bit more and it'll give people in the audience a chance to ask questions if they've anything that they want to know about the research that we've done into this 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 whole new angle on the Renla Chateau mystery and which it comes in from a place that just hasn't been done yet. Yeah, to totally fresh. It's at the end of a 20-year journey, really, over 20-year journey, and it's... Um... Uh, we we just cut straight down the middle and we've told the story uh, with the we've got rid of all the extra bits round and cut right to the point. So we're going to start to hopefully I'll have a little film. Thomas is doing the film this time. I'm doing it, so it won't have your uh, your your expertise. But uh, hopefully, hopefully I'll have a little film to show as well. And um, yeah, well, you, we'll uh, it's really. It's really your story of 20 years. I just kind of jumped in at the end and added my bit. Yeah, well, it was, yeah, well, it's not a joint effort, but we'll, uh, yeah, so we'll show the film first and then we'll we'll both answer the questions about um, Rima Chateau. And I'm sure there will be because, you know, it's, uh, it's such a, in, everybody's so interested in the story. And then, um, because it's a dementia called, Sort of theme, a little bit of it, a bit, a bit of a bit called theme. We've got Lim Picnic and Clive Prince, and they're uh, like the biggest names in the whole of it called thing because they provided all the information for the film, mainly in the book The Temple of Revelation. And so to get them it is an absolute boon, really. I'm just really so pleased that I've come. They came 10 years ago. To the ten year tenth anniversary, and um, so I sent them a picture. So do you remember this ten years ago? Uh, will you come back? And, they, and they're coming, so that's fantastic. They're going to do a, a, a talk on the Saturday and the Sunday. The Saturday yeah. Saturday talk. Sorry, go on. Yeah, I'm just saying. So no matter what your angle or interest is in the whole mystery, there's something for everybody. Everybody will be catered to. Absolutely. I mean, if I mean, we're not looking into the side of the Magdalene at all, but this is something that Lynn particularly is very interested in, has written about extensively. So both sides, you know, they were actually on the they, they were on the Da Vinci Code film. They'll probably tell you about it over the weekend. It's, uh, they were on the bus in London uh, where Tom Hanks was trying to borrow somebody's phone and there they were sat there uh, Lynn and Clive, they <laughs> got a, a cameo appearance. The first talk is The Inside Story of the Da Vinci Code by the people who inspired both book and movie. So there you go. Can't get nearer to the Da Vinci Code than that. Yeah, open, democratic, and everybody's voice being heard. Something, you don't, get, something you don't get much of these days outside this conference. 
Mm. But that's what it's about. It's about putting information across, not just like preaching to people. Yeah. On the Sunday, um, they're gonna the talk is when God had a wife, the fall and rise of the sacred feminine in Judo Christian tradition. So there you go, you see. Something for everyone, like you say. Um so yeah, Lynn and Clive, really, really pleased to have them. They're lovely people. Uh and then Greg, Greg Moffat again, your friend of mine. Uh, Greg, and Greg will be talking about what he, he's going to. This is, you know, we talked about the fact that we think there was a pre advanced civilization on the planet sure, with yeah. an engineering or some sort. So, what Greg's going to talk about, he's taken that on board and his talk's called The Sound of the Stones, Archeo Acoustics in the Ancients. Oh, that should be good. Again, well, that's a very popular, a very popular topic that a lot of people interest in it. Yeah, it's, uh, the sound and vibrations, and maybe that was the uh, part of the the engineering which we've forgotten. David Malmberg. Now, David's a friend of mine uh, from coming on on the tours. He's, he's him and his wife come on the tours, and they've been on the the Cathar Country tour. Um, and there's another one, there's all in Scotland, and they just did Sardinia with me this year. So you, you get to, and he's a, a very famous in that area, ventriloquist and performer. So, you know, he gets he gets big halls, but he's also um, an adept and, uh, and very much into spiritual matters. So it took me the whole week in Sardinia. You know, we have some amazing talks. And... I said, I kept, uh, come and do a talk, come and do a talk. Because he did a PhD, he did a doctorate in sort of esoteric studies. And I said, come and talk about that, come and talk about it. There's no, I could say he wasn't doing it. And then one day he said, no, if you ask me to do a talk about ventriloquism and the ancients, now that I could get excited about, he said. So that was it. So we're very lucky that they're going to come across from America just for this. So Wow. Yeah, so it's great. The people that you, you know, that you get to know on on the tour is that um, you know. Otherwise, nobody else is going to get David Malmberg. And a totally unique topic that I've never heard of anything like that. So that'd be interesting. Yeah, he talks about um, Adelphi and all these sort of uh, sorry Delphi, and uh, and how there was his, his talks called "Wizards That Peep and Mutter: Ventriloquism and the Ancients." So wow. about that, that's really unique, isn't it? John Billingsley. John is the editor of Northern Earth magazine. That's probably the oldest magazine. That, that's from the. I mean, that's been going out, going on so many years. So he's the oldest statesman. Is John, and uh, lovely guy as well. He's definitely from the old. And so some sort of the subjects he he's, he's, his knowledge is immense. He's like a, a global. Um, it's like a university in his own mind, esoteric studies. So his talk is called Journeys of the Soul, Walking the Ancestors Home. Now, this is about funerary rites, I think. I'll have to wait and see. It's something to do with um, processional ways for the dead. But well, that, that's, John a big, that's, a big, that's a big thing with you. You're really into the whole processional thing. Over the ancient landscapes. Yeah, and I, and I never, I didn't, you know, I didn't influence John about this, but uh, he's, I don't even know what he's going to talk about, really. But I know that when he says walk in the ancestors' soul, he's referring to um, the dead, the, the dead ancestors. Two more, Catherine Monks. Uh, Catherine is the astrologer, Monks Astrology, and She's she's an all rounder. Is uh, Catherine? She does. She did a talk a couple of years ago when we were about the Grimms of Hall. But, yeah, um, she did it uh, in the Preston Hall, the small hall, the village hall. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Um, but she, she's she's also an artist, and she makes lovely sculptures as yeah, well. Yeah. She just made. Yeah, she does clocks, and she just just yeah. made me a clock. <laughs> she's like fantastic. Some of Uncle Pete, we're on my um, Fireplace in the other room there. So, 
the sea, I mean, this is a fantastic subject as well. The Book of Enoch and the Dead Sea Scrolls. Have you, have you ever read the Book of Enoch? No, I, I know I've, I've taken an interest in the Dead Sea Scrolls and the Nag Hammadi through an interest I had a while back on Gnosticism. I was exploring that subject, but yeah, I mean, it's I know it's a huge, I know it's a very deep dive. So I mean, yeah, I, it's one of those things that I want to hear because I, I want to learn about it. Yeah, I mean, it, it's mad. I, I've read some of it. And it's it's just insane. Man. No wonder it didn't end up in the Bible because, well, it's just the the giants and the watchers and all this weird stuff. So, and I know she's going to look into it deeply because she's working hard on it. So that's fantastic. Um, there's, there's, a huge interest, it, there's a right? huge interest in that watchers uh, stuff at the moment. Yeah, there right. is. I know, yeah. I know quite a lot of people who are into it. Yeah, it, 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 she was telling me about it the other day about how it all ties in with different things and Noah and and uh, the, angel, the angels, fallen angels and things. Uh, the, the amount of the things in that book is just incredible. It's like it's weird. And the last one is your friend of mine, Kevin Rowan Druitt. Oh, what's Kevin doing? He's doing, well, Kevin's an astrologer and he runs the Northern Lights Astrology Club in Blackpool. And he's written a book called Astrology of the Runes, which, believe it or not, is translated into Russian. And so he's going to talk about the Astrology of the Runes, talk about his book. So that's our lineup. And I think. It's one of these pretty, pretty great, really. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's as eclectic as you can get, really. I think. So that that's pretty much it. Uh, it's a, it's always a great crowd. There's um, the lovely people get there. There really is. It's like, uh, what more can we say? Uh, yeah, we're, we're in St. Uh, on sea. Hmm? The books, the book stalls are fantastic. Yeah, we have we have stalls all stalls all around the edge. There's another eleven. 12 stalls last year, and then even a few more because the speakers will have stalls as well. And after the tour, after the conference, if if you want to if you want to carry on, or if you're coming for a long way, I'm putting a, a Lake District tour on for four days after it. So that's the post conference tour. It's all on the website. So if you want to come on that, make a bit, make a week out of it. I mean, some people come and just stay over. There, there used to be a Conference called called um, Pro, and people came for the weekend and stayed in St. Anne's for the week because it's just nice to be down by the seaside. If the weather's good, but like, and how long will this the the, the tour of the Lake District take? Four four days, four days after. So you'll be taking them to see all the megaliths and all that that stuff. Yeah, yeah, like oh, I mean, the the, the ancient sites in the Lake District are second to none anywhere in the world. But they're just not as uh, they're not as well known as, as they're, many. But the only ones that are really in mountains. Yeah, I mean Castle Rig is beautiful, isn't it? The surroundings there, and Long Meg and Swinside and King Arthur's Round Table and all, and Maybra Hen is there's so many. So yeah, the Zacker Bears. Well, the Zacker Bears, of course. Yeah, they're bizarre. So I think. Um, not much more to say. Uh, anything to add, Thomas? Uh, no, I look forward to seeing everybody there. Don't forget to get up the their book. I've got a whole load of these A5 leaflets. Um, so if anybody is a member of a group that, that's got quite a few people in, and I can send these to you, just send me an email or even via Thomas if you want. And give me your address, how many you want, and I'll put them in the post to you. So, yeah, over to you, Thomas. On May 4th in Dawkey, which is in South Dublin, very close to the ferry from Hollyhead, I'm doing an event with Aidan Killian, the comedian, and that will be at Queen's Pub. It'll be on May 4th. I'll, I'll post the details of the event shortly. Right. Okay. Right. So, but you, to get your places booked, you just go on to megalithictours.com, press the, um, click the button for Mysterious Earth Conference, all the information's there, and at the bottom, you can book your place. Well, okay. See you all then. See you then.